can't edit things. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Kimmy McHugh. Welcome back to more Pokemon Explores, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explores the Sky. In the last episode, we, well, we basically learned that we can, well, we basically learned that uh, a time gear is missing. And also, you guys, I got a special someone in today's video. Introduce yourself. Please don't. <laughs> he's a little shy today. He's he's always shy. But uh, in today's episode, we are going to go ahead and continue the playthrough. Uh, sorry, I didn't record uh, much the last few days. I was just a little bit busy with in real life stuff. You know, why not? Come on, man, introduce yourself. Say 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 what your favorite Pokemon. Do you like to hear? Um, Lapras for the boys. <laughs> yeah, Lapras. Anyways, well, I think the last time we uh, ended it was um. We learned that we ran into a uh, Team Skull, I believe, and oh boy, were they um annoying. Is that mm. the point of them? Maybe if my friend can, can you see the screen from here, Logan? Yeah. Okay, so if you see the text, I can't see the text. Okay, everyone, I have an announcement before we get down to work. <laughs> yeah, that's basically how we did it. Uh, let me introduce our new allies. Oh shoot. Allies, what more new apprentices? Golly, I wonder what kind of Pokemon they are. I want to smell. I smell one away. Hey, over here, please. Oh, no. Oh, what stinks? Eek, it reeks like rotten cheese. Ew. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to check these fingernails. Yup, yup, that is some kind of fell stench. Basically, I kind of forgot what kind of voice I gave him. You mm -hmm. God and key those numb skulls again. It's them. These are new partners, or should I say, coughing? You can't see his face. <laughs> you can't see his look at him. Okay, you can't see his face. No, I can see him. Whoa, I'm coughing. Eh, too bad. Here, glad to meet you. You want to do him? And I keep skulls. I'm gonna give him a stupid voice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a better voice. And I keep skulls leader. I'm just gonna tech. remember it, especially you two. Cha ha ha. What? You're already acquainted. That simplifies things. Or how you say it. Well, chat out. You need to speak English. These three aren't joining us as apprentices. They will be joining our expedition to le lend us their assistance. No, they're useless. I, de I defeated a bat and a thing that blows smoke every time. Why would I need those and two? A skunk. Pardon? Why are you so shocked? Shut up, sir. It's nothing. That one always overreacts to every little thing. Cha ha ha. Hmm, very well then. Anyway, the Guildmaster has made his decision. He has decided that having th this trio take part will make us stronger than on the expedition. No, they won't. If you don't know what Team Skull, Team Skull Guzma probably sent these guys to come, you know, cause trouble. However, it would speaking be impossible. Speaking of Team Skull, who do you think is the better leader, Skuntank or Guzma? Let us know in the comments. Yes. However, it would be impossible to coordinate teamwork if we were to begin work working together right away. Actually, no. We work together as a team, Chata. Don't make me put your beak around backwards. You wouldn't like yourself biting yourself with your own beak. Therefore, we've decided to have the trio should live with us for several days. No, if he's living in our room, he is staying far away from me. Though it will be only for a short while, I will ask everyone to treat our guests with hospitality. No. Please, no. Doesn't Chata think something stinks about this? Literally. Ew, oh my gosh, how can the Guildmaster stand this? He literally stands everything. I sure hope this expedition ends soon, yup, yup. Alright, everyone, let's get down to work. Hooray. What's that? Where's your usual spirit? You gotta be kidding me. This stinks. How do you expect us to be cheerful when... Ah. What? You... You... No! The Guildmaster! His rage is building! If the Guildmaster gets angry, it'll be horrific! Everyone, come on! Be cheerful, even if it hurts! Alright, everyone, let's get down to work today! And everyone's like, peace! Chalk, glad to have met you. Ooh. Not me! <laughs> 
I think of this life anymore, and I'll stink you up. Irk, something's definitely suspicious about them for sure. I don't know what they are scheming, but let's be careful, Sparky. Ah, you too, yeah, blah, 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 yeah, 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 blah, 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 be quiet, chat, talk. No one cares about you because you're not important. You're just a bird. That's all you are. Logan, is he just a bird? Because I think he's a bird. Oh, I just said your name. A blind bird. And if you're wondering where I am, I'm at my friend's place, so... Yeah, it's a little bit different recording on a table than is my, uh, bed. Okay, we're gonna look for an expedition. Hmm. Uh, we got five Reviver Seed. Yeah, let's do this one. Why the heck not? So, how are you guys all today? How is your guys' uh, Saturday? Is it going bad? Horrible? Terrible? Wonderful? Let me know in the ch uh, comments. And what do you guys think of my friend? And also... How's life in quarantine? Yes, how is that going for you? You guys have like a little... You guys have to be, you know... Stuck... In the house or something. I don't know what you guys are going through with this quarantine. And I hope everything's going well. Because if not, then... I, I'm sorry to hear that. I really am. Beach Cave. Who remembers this dungeon? I don't. And of course, Dakota the Polywag is with us. I named him Dakota because he's one of my uh, friends on YouTube. Hi, hi. It's 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 a uh, nice to meet you. I can just press A because you guys are weak. You guys are weak. Scratch. Let me try pressing L while you live. Oh, thank you, Eliza. Why is this such a good wall picks? Don't mud slap me. Don't throw mud at me. His <laughs> shell is like throw mud. It's super effective. It does like one damage. Um, and my friend doesn't have a YouTube channel, sadly. He will get one in over 10 years. Just kidding. That would be way too I, long. I would prefer to get one when I'm all set up on YouTube equipment. Get what I have. You would still be able to record. Except I also plan on editing my videos as well. Ooh, good luck with that one, Logan. Good luck. I, I, I don't know if you're going to be able to uh, edit your videos as good as I am, but uh, I do wish you luck, man. I hope you get to at least 50 subscribers. What should be your first subscriber goal? Or will it be 20? I think it should be 20, just to start it off and see how uh, quick you get yeah. to uh, 20 subscribers. And if you get to um 20 subscribers, then... You'll go from 20 to 30, then to 30 to 40, then 40 to 50, and so on. Like I've been doing, I'm trying to get up to 150 subscribers, which I'm one away from doing that. You guys, thank you guys for your support. Um, Don't tackle Dakota, you disrespectful clam. And if you guys have any questions for my friend, uh, let, him know, let me know in the comments, and I'll see if he's able to answer them. Where is the Pokemon I'm looking for? What am I supposedly supposed to be looking for? Let me just check my missions. Um, mission objectives. Find. Oh, retrieve. Oh, okay. I have to pick up a reviver seed. Okay, I understand that. I understand, game. I understand. And I might be recording tomorrow as well. It might be some super mystery dungeon. I don't know if I'm. I forgot the game at home. That's why I'm not streaming that. And I think it's the reviver seed. No, there's still another mission. Yes, stay. I'm only eight minutes video. I mean, eight minutes in the video. <gasps> Explanation team, run! Hmm. Bring it on. Put him to sleep. Put him to sleep. No, wrong opponent. Put the search get to sleep. Dakota? Dakota? Stop spamming hypnosis. Thank you, Eliza. Hmm. It's all Thunder Shock you again. Now use hypnosis on the Surskit. Thank you. We'll use it on the Kabuto. 
he's almost dead. Wait, are you watching, Luke? Yeah. Okay. And that was easy. Wow, that was a... Stop spamming hypnosis! Dakota. 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 That's what, that's, that's probably the only word he knows. Hypnosis! 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 No, I probably locked him on hypnosis. I think I forgot to turn it off. Thank you for getting me the reviver seed. Can I have it? Fine, give me a hundred bucks. I don't care. Heal seed? No, thank you. I don't want your heal seed. I want your reviver seed. I'm the one who found it for you. I get to keep it. Finder is finders, keepers, losers, weepers. Ooh, I'll take that. Thank you very much for the max elixir. Anything going on here? Nope. Look, Just chomp, chomp, those, snuffle. Those little stinkers. Literally, I'm sitting beside a loudry that chews with his mouth open, and a stunk tank that always shoots gas every time he eats. I must not. He probably work at a gas station. <laughs> Brad, they can turn the smoke into gas. Oh, it's a moonlit night. <laughs> We just had dinner, but I could go for some more food. My belly will never get filled on grub like that. Alright, the guild members have all gone off to bed. Let's go find it now. Find what? What else? The guild's food stock. We'll find their food and give ourselves a proper feast. I like that thinking, Chief. Okay, let's get to it. I don't like them. The next day. Up and at them, it's morning. Up and at them. Did they say up and at them or... Open at him. I don't know. I think Loudred is losing his touch on saying up and at him. I think he's going to say open at him now. But today is just going to be a regular day. And this game is fun. Try it and record. Oh no, not this mission. Ah, you two. Your task today is to obtain stock to replen replenish the larder. The what? Larder, you mean go get some food? Correct. We inspected the water this morning. For some mysterious reason, the guild's food stock has dropped sharply all of a sudden. Furthermore, our entire stock of perfect apples has disappeared. That was the only item to get completely cleaned out. I think I know who ate them. I'm not going to say their names. We all know who ate them. Perfect apples, what are those? They are very big and very delicious apples. But more, more than that, they are the guild master's favorite food. If there were no perfect apples, the Guildmaster would, um, the Guildmaster would destroy the entire planet, basically, yes. Go on, if there were no perfect apples, what would happen to Wigglytuff? The Guildmaster would, dots, he would just spam dots every single time you talk to him? Yes, that's what would happen. See, he agrees with me. That's why I'm begging you to, to get some perfect apples. No. Um, what did he just say? I didn't hear. It'll really bug me not knowing. I think he said, the Gilmaster will take over the entire universe, destroying everyone and sending them to, uh, the... To hell. Yeah. But, oh well, sure, we'll go get some, some. You can count on us. Nope, we're gonna fail. Good. Perfect apples can be found deep in apple woods. Now listen, this may seem like a simple errand, but it's a crucial job. After all, this is all about the Gilmaster's arc. So please don't fail. Okay. Let's keep doing our best, Sparky. Oh, by the way, I might name a Pokemon after you. Uh-oh. Oh, looks like they're going out forging for food. That's because we feasted last night. A thankless task thanks to us. Cha ha ha Heh <laughs> let's mess with them. I give you little deep. Don't swear. You little evil tw You little... Mm. Twigs. Yeah, they're twigs. Apple Woods. Uh, I forgot how many floors this dungeon is. I think it was like 13. So. Here's Apple Woods. It's a 13 floor dungeon, I think. This must be the entrance to Apple Woods. According to Chanton's story, we need to go to the deepest part of the woods. That's where the perfect apple should be. Let's keep doing our best, Sparky. Now, nah, we're going to fail this. I have no good moves against grass types, so... Oh, looks like they're off and running. Yeah, we'll go after them. Why does Skunk Tank not say anything? He's like... You uh, guys... He's supposed to be like the big boss of the bunch. 
Literally. Okay, so this is Applewood. Um, okay. Before we even get into this, my mistake, not turning on your moves last uh, dungeon. So, huge rips on that. And what moves do you have turned on, Eliza? Ember. Ember and Quick Attack are getting turned on. I mean, Quick Attack and Faint Attack. So, Logan, why don't you want to do any voices? Too nervous? No, this is your channel. I know, but one time we're going to have to do a co-op channel. Just saying. I might do, like, a co-op playthrough, and then you're going to have to do it along with me. But I'll have to make sure everyone can hear your voice, though, because... We don't want to start... We don't want to do a video where everyone's not going to be able to hear your voice. You know, like, for example, if we do, like, um... Uh, for example... Ooh, a gummy. Wait, is this yellow? You know yellows are good, yellow gummies are good for electric types. Especially for Shinx and Pikachu. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm playing as Pikachu, well, that's what I just got during the questions. And so far I've ran into no Pokemon. So, I ran into stairs, food, and no Pokemon. I want to recruit something so I can name it after one of you um, awesome viewers. Um, as long as it's the right gender and it's the right person I'm naming it after, so, um, no going on my laptop, hmm, let's see, I ain't seen that boy, okay, where is the stair, okay, a Caterpie, Logan, would you be mind if I name you after this, no, okay, it's male, aww, he doesn't want to join our team, but, Ka but Ash caught Caterpie in one Pokeball. Why couldn't we recruit on the first try? Ash That's because that Pikachu isn't Ash's. <laughs> That's probably why. I think, we I think we already got that perfect answer. Because every time we use uh, um, this Pikachu, we don't recruit anything. But when Ash is playing this game, he recruits everything. Because he's a friend I to mean, all... If he would play this game, but honestly, he doesn't play it because this is Mystery Dungeon and people don't exist in Mystery Dungeon. Then, uh, then why, why is Pikachu a human? Then, that's a question to be answered. That's a theory. Maybe this is Ash. And remember how in the anime Ash was turned into uh, he a... He was Pikachu, turned... Pikachu, but that was at the end of one episode. I think it was the girl with that Murkrow. Yeah. And then I remember in, that, in the episode after that... Um, he was turned back. Yeah, but and also legendary Pokemon appeared in that episode. In the episode, he turned back. I think it was Zapdos. I don't know. I'm gonna have Anyways, to do. Those who know that Pokemon, let us know. Any of those who know that episode and that Pokemon, let us know in the comments. Ooh, a combi. Should I name this? Yes, I barely watched the Johto series, and the only and probably one of the only times that I ever watched it was to see Ash beat the hell out of Gary. Gary was a great rival. Even though... Also, let us know in the comments, who is your favorite rival in the anime? So far. Like, Personally, is it... Personally, mine is Paul. Because he's just so cocky. Actually, no, I shouldn't say cocky. Because he belittled Ash a lot. He didn't bully Ash. No, and belittled Ash. Do I get a Weedle? Um... Like, he made fun of him a lot. Yeah, but... Wow, these floors are going faster than I thought it would. So we might be able You're to do this. You're just feasting through these floors. I want this Beedrill. We're naming Logan after a Beedrill. If you can get it. I'm not going to, though. Yeah. Beedrill hate... Beedrills hate me. They don't agree with Look, me anymore. I'm not even that big of a fan of Beedrill. You're lucky that wasn't a, wasn't, that wasn't a Charmander. And Ezekitor is here. Hi. Liza, do not murder it. Do not murder the Ezekitor. We want to recruit something. Do not murder it. Why aren't you attacking okay, it? Yep. Liza, please murder it. Thank yes, you. thank you. As long as I'm asleep, you kill. You murder. She's like, I don't want to murder it. It's so cute. I'm like, you have to murder it, Liza. It's a game. She's like, it's too cute to murder, though. Where are the stairs? <gasps> What's this? Please be a pet petrify orb. Scanner orb. Useless. I don't even know what kind of purpose they s have in this game. Mm, I think they help locate items. Basically. 
Excuse quick attack. Why are you Needle not? Be gone all. I cannot recruit anything. I cannot recruit anything. I cannot think of a good Weedle pun. No, you can't. There's no Weedle puns. Also, I was going. Weedle. I was going to Dakota. Why aren't you attacking? Why don't you click water gun? You always click hit milk. Because you clicked it off. No, I clicked it back on. It, I think he'd rather put his opponents to sleep so that he, he trolls he them. Has a, he has an opportunity to attack. He does have an opportunity. Maybe he's or give his teammates another opportunity to attack. Or maybe he's making things easier for me. Uh, I see a gloom. Do you think we can recruit Don't a gloom? Don't get me a gloom. Do not get me. I'm gonna I'm gonna attack this uh, poor defenseless little bug. Of course don't, I miss. Rec don't recruit me that gloom. I hate gloom. Thank you for murdering it, Eliza. Even though I kind of wanted to recruit something in this dungeon, she's like, "No, I don't want anything on our team. We have a perfect team right here: water, electric, and fire. Literally, just like the what? Oh, great! It's this thing. Do not put me to sleep. Or confuse me. Oh my God!" The Battle of Missing Stuff. Never mind. Pikachu hit something and Pikachu answers back. <laughs> He's like, if I'm gonna take a hit, you're taking a hit too. You're going down with me. Uh, where's no, the stairs? No, Pikachu said he was going down with me. It would have to KO itself along with Executor. Well, the only way to do that is with self-destruct. But guess what? Pikachu can't learn it. Okay, where's the stairs? Okay, where are we looking at? Okay, uh, I have a feeling we have to go back. I have a feeling. My king sense is tingling. We have to go up here. No! Okay, a gloom. Hi. Thunderstock, we'll use a non-effective move. We'll do like Ash does. Can you please die? Okay, thank you for not being recruited. I actually don't like gloom either, and here's the I stairs. Mean, who likes gloom? No one. I'm pretty sure I have a friend who likes gloom. I believe. Do you guys like gloom? If so, let Please me know. Please say no in the comments. <laughs> Please say yes. Don't listen to one of my friend. Gloom is a great Pokemon. You can run it for Evil Light and uh, other no, stuff. No, I mean by design. Design? Well, I would agree. Shiny gloom's good. Bee drill. You know the bee drill. And that's to die. Why is if you click faint attack? Good girl. You listen to the king, because the king is your, your master. She's like, click Ember, because I'm going to burn this poor little bug, whatever Paris is based off of. I think he's like a crab. What is Paris based off of, you guys? Mm, I'd say a, a, a... I mean, yeah, I don't really care what Paris goes I'm not a fan of Paris either. Yeah, thank you for killing that gloom. The more, the more you kill the gloom, the more we hate the gloom. And yes, I was right. It is a 13 for. Oh, look. Look, I'm renaming you after this. We recruit it, okay? Uh -uh. Okay, let's try this one. It, it's not going to be recruited. I know. Yep. <laughs> and it's a female commie. Okay, how about an executor? Eliza, use quick attack. Eliza? Why do you have to make me bully an executor? I don't want to hurt it. It's so cute. Not really, actually. And of course, a dead end. Why the heck not? Oh, and by the way, we're actually managing to get through this entire dungeon. Thank you, um, you guys for giving me luck. And I see you, Beedrill. I see what you do. You better not have twin needle. Which he probably doesn't. I don't know what level uh, Beedrill gets. <gasps> Dakota. I say as soon as Kakuna evolves. Or when Beedrill gets to level 10. Dakota. Dakota. Dakota's murdering again. And I told him not to do it. Thundershock, recruit. No. Why won't we recruit anything? And because they're too focused on eating the apples. Deep Apple Woods. From that point. Maybe Skunk Tang's like, Hey everyone, don't, don't, don't join Team King Nation's team. This is the deepest point in Apple Woods, isn't it? 
No, totally. According to Chatot, the perfect apple should be around here. There's apples, like, right near us. Oh, look, Sparky. Hang hanging on that humongous tree. Specifically, it's huge. Those must be the perfect apples. Yeah, but there's something in that it. That is a big tree. I wonder if that tree is home to a certain Pokemon. Maybe a lot of Beedrills? Because those are the kind of trees that Beedrill tend to live in. Well, if Skunkting has Flamethrower on his moveset, he's literally destroyed the entire Beedrill hive. Alright then, how should we get those perfect apples? Yeah, but then again, I hope he doesn't use it, because then he'll start a forest fire. Cha -ha, and then he'll get kicked done. out of the gill. Who said that? I said that. Cha -ha -ha. Uh... King, you're breaking the fourth wall. Just kidding. What you... A deep skull at your surface. No, I am more like the numb skulls. Hey, it's Wimp, it's Wimpy and Company. What? So my name is Company now. What took you so no, long? Actually, I think he's referring to the partner as Wimpy. Oh, we've been wait having us a per a, a perf picnic of perfect apples while waiting for you to show. What took you so long? What? Whoa, you took so long. I stuffed myself. Burp. Burp. They're saying they ate the perfect apple, Sparky, but there are still a few ooh, a few left on the tree. Let's knock out those creeps in, creeps out and take home some perfect apples. No, 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 yes, no. Yes, yes, Let's beat him. Let's beat him. Boss fight right here, Chaha. Knock us out. That's very rude of you. Why I was even going to offer my help for your mission? You weren't. Pardon? You were wondering how to, how you could get the perfect apples. Nothing could be easier. Watch and learn from an expert. I'm going to give myself a concussion. That's the first one. That's the second concussion I have now. I am brainless. Watch them all eat them. They will. Oh, some perfect apples. See what I tell you. Go on now, scoop up those perfect apples and scuttle back to the guild. Whoa. You know, you know what's kind of weird about the scene, and I'm going to point that out. The way after he says scuttle back home to the guild, and then they start laughing. Like, that's how Eliza knows they're up to no good. What's the matter? Aren't you going to pick them up? And after I was so nice and helped you out. You're, go you're, not, you're going to pull another dirty trick, aren't you? You won't fool me again. Color me surprised they didn't fall for it at all. Oh, uh, how boring is that? I knew it. Ah, uh, it's a little disappointing you didn't fall for our act. But so what? What are you going to do about it? Burn off your fur? <laughs> well, that would be embarrassing. The only thing we can... That would be delicious, actually. Co Co who's up for cooked skunk? <laughs> our cooked bat. I don't actually, I wait, imagine skunks being in Minecraft. They probably might- Let us know in the comments. Could, do you imagine skunks being at its Minecraft in the next update? Maybe. We'll knock out your team. Then we're taking the perfect backle- Perfect backles? Perfect apples back to the guild. Well now, aren't we feeling peppy today? When we first met you, you were shaking like a leaf too. It's true, that time I did back down. Even now I'm a little scared. But I won't lose again. I won't ever back down. So be it. In recognition of your courage, we'll be honored to take you on fair and square. Watch out, Sparky. They're going to try something. Oh, uh, no. This method is unfair. Cha ha ha. Let's see if you can withstand this attack. Coughing and I will use our noxious gas combo. Is that the way they both use poison gas? Basically. Because they both get if I level up. And we do... <laughs> We just got we just got murdered. Lube doesn't like it. Ugh, that was awful. Oh, Sparky, I'm dead. How is Polywag still standing? Are you okay, Sparky? No, I'm dead. I just got blown gas in my face for the second time. Thank goodness. Yeah. You're like, where did everyone go? Ah! Wait, they left without me. They don't care about uh -oh. Zubat. Oh, we both got knocked out. But what a horrible stench. It still reeks a little. Ew. Then I suggest take a shower. Oh, there are the perfect apples. They're gone. I ate you them all. Still some get some in the tree. Or not. Ugh. Oh, they're gone. Did those bullies eat them all? 
If they're all gone, there's nothing we can do. I have climbed the tree. We can't do anything else. Let's go back to get... What a coward. Ugh. Should we end the episode? Honestly, if I were them, I would have just climbed that tree. You know what? Let's continue. I'd like to see Chato's face when we fail. Just for the first time. Ah, oh, you failed! Are you serious? Oh, no. What am I to do? Seriously, what am I to do? Go fly up the tree and get some yourself, Shadow. You have wings for a reason, dude. It's not our fault. It's because Skunk Again is quiet. I don't want to hear any excuses. This is the chat, the part of the game I hate chat talk for. You leave me no choice. For the time being, you'll go without dinner tonight. What? You failed to complete an important job. Your punishment could be much more severe. I don't want to hear anything from you. You've saddled me with this terrible task. I've got to report this to the Guildmaster now. Upon hearing my report, the Guildmaster is sure to... Ah! He's gonna die. I'll report this to the Guildmaster after dinner. You two will come with me when I do so. If I had to face the Guildmaster's wrath all by myself, well, that would hardly be fair. Therefore, you two will come with me. That's an order. Honestly, I would just leave the guild instead of go with him. I would have just walked away. I would have just shocked the... I would have shocked chat. I would really? have snuck out when they were eating. This is disrespectful. We're eating behind Skunk Tank. Literally. Look at look at Wigglytuff. Look look how happy he is, knowing that we failed the mission. Hiya! You brought me some perfect apples, didn't you? Thank you. Look at Chad. Uh, he's like, I ate the perfect apples. Beep. Now oh, there's a slight. It's uh, awfully hard to say this, but... Oh, well, what's wrong? You can hardly see my face. <laughs> Just kidding. There we go. Look at me. Can you see me better? Huh? What's wrong? You see, uh, truth to be told, I ate the apples. You know, I wish Chata... Okay. The one thing I wish Chata would do in this game is he would blame it all on himself. Like, saying, I ate the perfect apples as soon as he brought them. Um, no, to make it worse, if I was Chata, I would have just kicked him out of the guild. These apprentices, well, they failed in their mission to bring back any perfect apples, and... So, uh, to put it another way... It's okay, I understand. It's alright, we'll have cooked Chata for dinner tomorrow. Nobody wins all the time. Don't feel blue. Don't feel blue. That's actually a song. Where are the other perfect apples? As I explained, um, they failed to get them, so, uh, in other words, uh, the perfect apples, the number of perfect apples it harvests would be, uh, 1,000. Just kidding, zero. Oh. Therefore, not even one perfect apple was attained. The mean, that means, Gilmaster, you'll have to do without perfect apples for a little bit. Yep, that's what it means. Really? This is sad. He's, he's gonna punch you. He's going to punch you, Chata. Um, go master? <laughs> Sniffle. Sub. Oh, wait, I'm not. Well, he's going to cry? <laughs> what? Well, no! Ruff, ruff. Oh, no. No! The, oh, oh, I gave him, I gave her the Chata expression. Yeah, the whole place is shaking. <laughs> Cover your ears. Why? Don't argue. Do it now. <laughs> he's using. He's using outrage. Confirm. Ch uh, how is Wig How is a Wigglytuff supposed to be this powerful? I don't get it. I hate that Wigglytuff. Sorry to disturb you. We've come to deliver our perfect apple. From my, from my uh. From from my butt. Huh? That was rude. Just pushes this out of the way. Here you go. A genuine perfect apple. Genuine. Perf, please accept it as our token of friendship. Oh, well, you went and got it just for me? Even though I said don't do anything? Yay, thank you, friends. Thank you so very kindly. Thanks to you, you've all been spared a catastrophe. Actually, Chatot, we're still having cooked Chatot for dinner. I actually would like to eat Chatot. Would you, Logan? Obviously. That sounds cooked Chatot. That sounds delicious. What kind of bird is Chatot? A parrot? The, I mean, just look at him. Does he not look like a parrot? Hey, you two, quit dozing and show your respect and appreciation. Ugh. Chatot, no, no. It's quite alright. After all, your guild has been very generous and hospitable. 
What's that word? Hospital. Hospital to us. No, that's, it's actually hospitable. It's only right that's that we try to repay that favor in our own way. Ah, I see that. Now you're the most admirable Pokemon. To be able to embark on an expedition with someone so noble as you. Hey, we've been working here longer than these three. It'll be truly inspiring. Ah, uh, no, no. You'll be the one to inspire us. Truly, we look forward to our expedition. It's late now, so we'll be off to bed until tomorrow then. I'm gonna go laugh. Thank you, good night, friends. He does not care. Wigglytuff, he's like... I don't care who brings me the perfect apples, just give me them, now. But Chief, why do you bother helping out that chicken? Like giving away the perfect apple right then. We should have just watched what happened to them after. That would have been hilarious. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Oh, you're not thinking str what's that word? Strategically. You too. Why'd we come here in the first place? The expedition, right? Right now, the trick is for us to win the trust of Wigglytuff. I get it now. But, this being a famous guild and all, I was playing it cautious at first, but it's being ridiculously easy. Wigglytuff's been nothing more than a big baby. He's no big deal. Why everyone's so terrified of Wigglytuff, I don't know. I'm clueless. Anyway, if we find a treasure while on the expedition, we knock out the guild's crew, then we snatch the treasure and skedaddle on out. Oh, this plan is a sure thing. <laughs> you know, I kind of wish they would get kicked out of the guild. Or, I wish Wigglytuff would murder them. Or just throw them out into the ocean. <sighs> Skunktank's team bested us again, didn't they? It's good that Wigglytuff didn't blow up, blow up at us, Earth, but we didn't get to eat dinner after all. I'm famished. Sorry, I know you're hungry too, Sparky. Staying awake doesn't help. Let's get some sleep. Good night, Sparky. Yeah. I mean, sleeping on an empty stomach, that would be, um, very hard. Like, could you imagine? Like, Logan, like, you would sleep without eating through, like, two, three days? Up and out in this morning? Yeah, we get it. Anyways, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up today's episode. So if you guys enjoy today's episode, make sure you guys smash that like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments, what do you guys think of my best friend? What do you guys, do you guys like his voice? And at that note, I'll see you guys all next time. Have a wonderful day. King, signing out.